Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome entry level travel trailer, perfect for couples. This is a 2022 KZ Sportsman Model 251 RSSE. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Sportsman and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you a true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at a great price point couples travel trailer, the Sportsman. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good. We're still here at Carolina Coach. Yes! I'm excited to take a look at this Sportsman. Yes! Uh, I think it's the first one on the show. It's definitely first okay, one on I the show. So. Cool. So yeah, we'll see what it see what it's got. Well, you know me. Anytime something new, I get super excited. Yeah. Let's begin. Model is Sportsman 251 RSSE. The actual tip tip length of this travel trailer is 29 feet 7 inches. The dry weight is 5,440 pounds. And Will, we don't know the hitch weight, but Jen's gonna have all the specifications about this travel trailer from Casey's website to make sure that we're accurate. Cool. Right up here, we do have a manual tongue jack. Entry level, folks. You got to crank it on and off your tow vehicle. Right here, we do have propane quick connect there, and your batteries go there. KZ, this is a sportsman, okay? And when we say this is entry level, well, here's what we mean. It has the aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing. Nothing's wrong with this. It's just that's what helps keep the price point down. Right. When you have that aluminum and fiberglass, Yes, it's a little bit lighter, but it's also more expensive to do it that way. Exactly. Also, it's better insulated that way, but if you're not camping in the winter, then it's no big deal. Right. Right here, we do have awesome pass-through storage. That's right. You know, and, th and then it's all about self-awareness. You know, how do you plan on going camping? Exactly. Coming on down the side here, we do have manual stabilizing jacks. Womp, womp. Oh my gosh, double womp, womp. Will, yes. we have the uh, fold-up steps. Um, Times two double fold up steps okay okay you know how we feel about that yeah um and then but here's what we do have we do have two doors which i love and a very nice power awning with led lights that's a big awning well i'm gonna put it out today okay here we go man well yeah this is a huge power awning with led lights now this is a lippard power awning it's a solero and the awning does pitch so right now it's windy so if i wanted to angle it one way to pitch down one way or another that's great here's what's also great lippard as you guys know is the sponsor of the show so if you look at that lippard makes awnings they also make slide toppers so if you need a slide topper for your travel trailer don't go to some third party go straight to lippard's website you know that's what right. i'm saying they'll hook you up right here we got your water heater right here nice window and speakers and then look at these tires will they're the trailer kings i love those they're the uh st205-75 r14 very nice right here we have power on the outside and cable right there if you do want to have tv on the outside again with the step right there you know the black fold-up step so old school it's so funny i thought grand design was the only ones doing this um but it's pretty crazy but even even with them at least they're doing the aluminum ones these are like the so old school so 2017 right, you know right. now here's what i do like we do got a leash lash okay uh it's a great place for you to leash up your dog also a beer opener Psh, america. america hell yeah and um even though this entry level it does have the climbing pack climate package which is a heated and close underbelly underneath that's nice for, for this yes Coming around the back. Oh, dang, Nabbit Will, there is no ladder to get up on the roof. Bumper for your stinky slinky. I love that. Check this out. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. And I love how Carolina Coach reps their brand. Yeah, that's nice. And Will, look at their phone number. 1-800-RV-Dealer. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. That is. Nice window in the back. Once we go inside, you'll be able to see that. It lets in so much natural light. And it is prepped for the Furion backup camera. 
great place to dump your oh, tanks yeah. right there. Oh, look at what type of slide out is that, Will? Look at the slide out. Show everybody. Yeah. I've never seen that. Is this the kitchen? I I don't know. It's probably that's probably power. Interesting. For something in the kitchen. I've never seen that. We'll check it out on the inside. Right here's your black tank flush, 30 amp connection right here, and you do have an outdoor shower. Cool. Right here's your city water connection, and then potable water fill. Potable, potable. And then here, Will, is the other side of that nice pass you storage. Cool. Well, well, the outside of the Sportsman looks great, but it is the inside that looks even better. Let's go, take a look. Okay. Oh, there's a car there, so I'm not gonna skip. Hmm, <laughs> why not? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> the refrigerator is right there. Okay, that's probably what it is. All right, we'll start in the front. Got the bedroom back here. We have the middle bathroom layout here. And then heading towards the back. We have your kitchen area, dining area, the living area, and again, the other side of the kitchen. No, Will. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Okay. We're Matt's RV Reviews. That's right. We've now partnered with RVR. But I told everybody, I am straight. I am truthful till the day I die. <laughs> Love me or hate me, America, I'm truthful. Right. And I was not impressed with the outside at all. Okay. I am impressed with the inside. Yeah. Especially the inside, for entry level. It, it looks really, really nice. There's a lot of things that I'm looking here that I'm like, I'm saying, hey, I'm looking and I'm liking. Okay, first, cabinetry above. And is this like a chalkboard finish? It is. That's cool. So you can leave little notes or yeah. threats. Oh, it's, is that glass? Oh, it's not chalkboard. Oh. It's like a fogged glass. Interesting. So no notes. Right here, Will, we do have a nice sofa back here. Okay. And then look at this. There's not like arms on it, but it's like a little up. Yeah, invitation. that's actually kind of nice. This is a little jackknife sofa, and it's interesting, and it's nice. Uh, here's the blinds right here. You know, it's not the slow rise shades again price point. I do like the balances and I will say I do like this big window yes, right here. That is very nice. Um, you know, we got your side table here and everything and you know, again, comfortable seat. Now, right over there, that's where a TV would go. Okay, so kind of a bad TV view, yeah. but you can definitely put a swing arm on that and angle the TV out so you have a good viewing angle right over here. Right. And then you do have a sound system right here and then storage underneath there. Cool. You can use that for your kitchen, you can use it for more storage or everything. And then this is what I love, Will. Yes. You have a nice, big 80 inch dinette right here. Very big and comfortable. And again, I like the windows. Right. The whole family can sit around this. If you have guests, they can come. Also, this drops down to make a bed. I did not mention this does jackknife. Cool. Okay. Actually, Oh, oh. With a little cup holder getting fancy on us. There you go. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this travel trailer here is $39,999. Will, MSRP. Sale price, uh, they have a lot lower sale price than that, but because it's a 2022 model year, we can't advertise sale price right now. You guys know how the market is. But, well, here's what we did do. We did partner with RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of dealerships. So, it doesn't matter where you live in the country, we have a dealership close to you, and we'll be able to help you get a phenomenal price. All you have to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com, click that first contact tab. I will personally oversee that you get a phenomenal price at a dealership closest to you. And if you're not ready to buy, click that second tab, which sends us an email. Will, let's continue the video. All right, so you got a nice Furion microwave up top here. Yes, sir. Furion range hood. Hood range. With a light and the little fan. Um, right below that, you do have, they continued with Furion. Furion everything, I like that. Furion three burner cooktop with the blue lights. Yes, and sir. Yes, sir. Coming down here, they did use the same cabinetry here with that, you know, fog glass. Yes. Plenty of cabinet space up top here and here. Yes. Coming down, you have a nice window here on your campsite. Okay. And you have a nice backsplash here behind your uh, kitchen sink. 
perfect. They are not solid surface countertops, no. which again is okay for this price point. Yeah, no big deal. You got oh, your no. nice insert. Very nice. Nice faucet. Just a normal faucet, doesn't come down or anything. I wouldn't call that normal. I mean, it looks pretty nice. Well, it nice. looks nice, yeah. Yeah. And then a nice big single bowl sink right there. Underneath, plenty of storage. Yes, sir. And a couple drawers right here. Nice. Right behind me, again, they continued with the Furion, with the Furion uh, compressor, fridge, and freezer. And what we're assuming was that cordage on the outside was for this refrigerator yes. since it's on the slide out. Yes. Cool. Is that it? Yep. It's now time for the shower test. All right. Uh-oh. They didn't put a little uh -oh. thing. Here we go now. Mm -mm. Wham, wham. No can do. Does not. And all pass. they needed to do was put a little thing because it's not that big of a step up. Yep. Nope. But they didn't. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. No medicine cabinet here. It's just a mirror. Right here is a place for you to put some of your linens. Okay. Uh, right here you do have a sink with storage underneath. And then, well, it's now time for the toilet test. Okay. <laughs> Oh, is it porcelain? No, I thought it was oh. porcelain for a second. So did I. I was like, there's no way they got this right. Okay, no, this plastic toilet, womp womp, fail. Mm. Um, we, we just need the porcelain toilet, guys. Is that all they're missing? Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, plenty of space in this bathroom. Very, very nice bathroom. Okay. Big and spacious. And then it is the way to the... um Bedroom. You okay what there? the heck type of sheets are these? Oh, yeah, I know. I've never seen sheets like that. A oh, comforter. I either. Right here we got we have this. And same uh, thing over here. Yeah. Very nice, nice little countertop here. Yeah. Or uh little side tables. And yeah, storage, storage underneath under there. there. Cool. Well, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I am speechless about this. I can tell. You okay there? I love the fact that there's a second door right here. I do here. too. Very nice. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this unit and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Let's do three things we like. Okay. You want to do that? Yes. This is right here. I love the double doors. Yes. You know, you have this mid-entry bathroom, which we do not like. We're not a fan of that. But we are okay with that as long as there's a second entry door. Yes. Love that feature about it. It's a great feature. And uh, it makes it so a floor plan style like this can work. Oh. That's number one. Will, number two? I'll probably go with this dinette. You say dinette. Always do. Yeah. It's a nice big dinette. Um, and what I really like about it is they could have done theater seating or, you know, done like a bigger kitchen area or something. And... Um, or, you know, just a smaller dinette, and they didn't. It's so nice how big it is. You know, if it's raining out, everybody can sit around, play games, eat dinner, or whatever it is, so. I love it. Cool. That's number two. And then, well, number three, I'm going to say back here, I love the seat. Yes. It's nice. This is comfortable for a jackknife. It is one of the better jackknives I sat on. Good. But again, to have this window right here is such a nice touch. Yes. I really do mess with it. I like the feel in here. And the interior, I'm going to combo that with the interior looking decor is very, very nice. Absolutely. Great. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Okay. You ready for me to go first? Yeah. I wish there was windows here. Oh, you're right. I, I was thinking something needed to be here. Windows. Yeah. Window, window, window. I would have loved this. Yes. I would have cross breeze, cross flow, good vision of everything all around you. And it just would have been a very, very nice touch. Right. That's number one. Will, do you have a number two? I do, but I don't want to steal yours. You want to go next? Yeah. Well, uh, we'll just talk about the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. So, as you guys know, you know, we need it. Like, what sucks about the shower, too, is it's, like, so close. It's actually pretty good size. Really good size. All good size bathroom. All they needed to do was put a little skylight in. I 100% agree. And, All and they needed to do was put porcelain toilet. toilet. You know, they, and they could have made that a medicine cabinet. Again. Yeah. Little three little things that don't make a big deal, but again, which combo it all together, and when we have to find dislikes, it's just what we pick on. Right, and it wouldn't have cost it that much more. Like nope. it would have been worth it. Nope. But actually, I think they were. You know I what know, it was? They were trying. To they were trying 40, so 000. hard to stay under forty thousand. Yep. Mm -hmm. And guess what? We'll uh, see how it performs over time. Yeah. Because of that. So that's number two, and then, Will, why don't you wrap it up with number three? All right, number three is kind of the obvious, 
The solid steps and we'll combo with them. No, not the level. No, jacks. the jacks That's are fine. fine for this. The, yeah. the, the front power, the front manual jack. Yes. Okay, we'll combo that. Yep, the, the front manual jack and these uh, non-solid steps. So you know, I'm gonna steps. I'm gonna like double combo that. Yeah. Not only is it the non-solid steps, but they're not even the aluminum steps. Right, they're the cheapest that they can get. And it's on both of them. Yep. I would have been fine with it over there. Exactly. You know, if they did the solid steps here. Here's a good thing. Our good friends at Lippert yeah, sell a kit. Add you can anything. add them to anything. So that's, right. that's a good plug for us. Yeah. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the KC Sportsman. Guys, do us a huge favor. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know what you thought about the trailer. Did you like it or did you not like it? I'm going to add one more dislike. Okay. What the heck was up with those sheets in there? Yeah. If I brought those sheets home to Andrea, she'd kill me. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. Like those sheets, come on. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you liked, three things you didn't like. Uh, and if you guys are interested in this travel trailer or any travel trailer, again, we've now partnered with RVR, which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. So it doesn't matter where you live. Go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out that contact form. Let us know that you're ready to buy. Will, you and I, we're going to personally oversee yes. to make sure that you guys get a phenomenal price. We're not just going to hand you off to some nobody. We're going to oversee every deal to make sure that you guys are getting taken care of before, during, and after the sale. That's right. Will, anything you want to say? Of course, yeah. These um, entry-level travel trailers are great for so many people. They're so popular. So we hope you guys really liked it. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know the three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes. so much for watching. And Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.